Okay, YouTubers, another quick game of Interplanetary Ice Spy going on here, and we're back on Mars, back in Gale Crater, and we're looking at some odd things in this image from Sol 1506. So we're going to a very recent image, actually. Um, the uh, the rover's doing well, and it's been on the surface now for over 1,500 days, and is trundling along, taking photographs of very interesting things, and then NASA saying nothing about them, as usual. So this is our job as researchers to look at these things in more detail and work out whether we're maybe looking at some kind of life form or just a random rock, okay? Perfectly normal thing to do. Uh, nothing wrong with that, although some people do think it's a bit weird to speculate on such things, but that's up to them. Okay, so let's crack on with it. Um, the first thing that caught my eye in this image was this thing, which looks like some kind of critter or blob. Now, I'm not saying this is an, an, a creature or a critter, but it, it may be. It may be some undiscovered un species that we haven't worked out yet. And even in this raw image, you can see that it has kind of arms sticking out here, almost like a starfish. Now, on Earth, there are many, many types of starfish or crinoid-type creatures, okay? And, in fact, there's probably hundreds of thousands of these things and many of them are yet to be discovered on our own planet um, so this could be a crinoid or it could be some kind of fungi okay uh, before we carry on I will show you an enhanced version of that there we have it and you can see it has a, a worm like structures to it here okay and this appendage thing sticking out is coming from behind this bit you can see a shadow there okay now could that be down to image damage hmm, possibly but most of the detail in this is not down to image damage. You can see the, the grid going through it where the compression lines are. You can just about make that out going through. So some of the detail is not actually there, but most of it is. You know, the actual shape of this thing is that shape, okay? But some of these lines going through are probably a bit dubious and not necessarily there, but most of it, 70% of this detail is trustworthy, I would say. And you can see quite clearly that this has a, a kind of worm-like structures to it, okay? In and around or over this blob-type thing, okay? That was interesting. Now, that reminded me of this thing, okay? Which was something I published earlier this year. I called it the uh, Strange Martian Critter, the blob. Coral, mollusk, or fungi, okay? Now, it could be any of those things, or maybe none of them. Um, but it's very similar. It's on the side of a rock. It's a very different colour to the rock. It's all a yellowy, whitish colour. It's not, I don't think it's metallic. It looks organic. And when you get up close, you can see it has a very similar worm like structure to it, okay? I'm going to let that play through. This is very short. I'm going to let it play through, and you can see, it, see this uh, zoom in, and, and we'll get some more detail coming up now. Um, let's go a bit forward actually, it's taking a while. Now if you look carefully, when we get in close, you can see it has a similar brain coral or worm-like structure to it, okay? Like a whole bunch of worms clustered together almost, okay? This one even seems to have an eye in the mouth, or an eye in the head, which is very odd indeed. Um, but that's probably just pareidolia, it just looks like that. I don't know how close that gets. There you can see the, the brain-like structure to it, with worm-like structures interwoven, okay? See this? It's sticking out here. Now this looks like organic material to me, it doesn't look like just a rock. Um, rocks don't do that, and you don't tend to get a, a, a bright or light-coloured, yellowy-coloured rock stuck to the side of another rock, which probably isn't even a rock anyway. This thing that it's stuck on is probably a piece of petrified wood, okay? And there's plenty of petrified wood in this area, as I will be showing in my next video, or previous video, depending on which one I release first. Uh, there's some very clear petrified wood in this area, so don't tell me it's not there, because it is. Uh, there are plenty of it, and some of it is pretty irrefutable, I would say. But then there was this thing. Uh, now, this is further up to the... Let me show you where this is, actually. This bare thing, up here, to the left corner top corner and even in the raw image it looks very odd and it looks like hairy material now I think this is organic growth on this 
rock here. Um, it kind of looks a bit like a creature with a head here and a body here, but it's too square. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, that can't be a little bear or, or dog, you know. I mean, it can't be. It must be just a rock with something on it here and here, which looks like growth to me. It looks like organic growth. Okay, let me quickly show you the enhancement of that. There we go. I mean, what does it look like to you? Uh, to me, this looks like a rock which has organic growth on it. You've got some green material here. You've got some very hairy or intricate looking texture to it. Okay. This looks like plant growth to me. Okay. And there is water in this area, although not very much of it. But if there is plant growth here, it may be very low lying, quite primitive plant growth like moss. And this particular type of plant growth may send runners right down into the through the sand and deep deep down below the surface although I would say that there is liquid water not far below the surface probably only inches or probably less than a meter below this surface right now okay this part of Mars isn't as cold as other parts and during the day it's quite warm so the permafrost would probably melt and there'd be enough permafrost melting every day in the summer at least for plants to actually grow and draw moisture okay so uh, and even NASA have said recently that not all the water on Mars is frozen it does unfreeze and melt regularly depending on where you are and Gale Crater is very warm during the day that is uh, so there we have it could this be some kind of bear no doubt it could it be some plant growth more likely. Is it just a rock? Possibly. Uh, but it looks far too intricate to me to be just a rock. And the green stuff on it, and the fact that it's near this thing, which looks like some kind of fungi uh, growing on the side of a tree, like you would see in the forest in the UK or in the US, um, it looks like fungi. What can I say? And it has worm like, brain coral like structure to it, okay? Thanks for watching everybody, I'll see you soon.